hey guys welcome or welcome back so as you can tell from the title today i'm doing a unboxing but before i do that i do want to say happy new year's today is december 31st so yes happy new year's to each and every single one of you guys 2021 was a lot it really was um i'm pretty sure for a lot of you guys it was a lot but i took everything as a blessing the good and the bad um i've learned a long time ago to stop questioning certain things that god has put me in certain people he has taken out of my life certain people he has added so yes so everything was just a lesson learned and blessings honestly so hopefully 2022 is just amazing to each and every single one of us yes we're all gonna face trials and tribulations we are but hopefully you know it just makes us stronger you know lesson learns so i don't want this to be too long so like i mentioned this is an unboxing and just another thing you guys like i don't want people to think that oh i'm bragging i know people always say that in their videos and i definitely get why because like i mentioned certain people god has taken out of my lives yeah stuff like that so i'm not bragging i'm not that type of person i'm a very humble person um so i don't want people to think that um i brought this item i think like ending ending of october yes ending of october Saks had one of their gift card um promotion and that's something i usually tell people that you know that's interested in certain brands um and they want to know where they could get good discount i tell them sacks snacks i tell them sacks fifth avenue um neiman's um bloomingdale's i've never shopped at Bergdorf, but i've heard of them as well um you know sign up for them um they usually have like these promotion buy certain items and you get a um gift card so that's what happened like i mentioned i bought this yeah a while ago but I've been going through a lot and I just was not in the mood to film. So yeah, so the gift card, and this was the first time, usually when I order from Saks, not necessarily like huge, big ticket price items, but just whatever the item is that meet, that meet that gift card threshold, they usually send me the gift card with the item, but this time they sent me the gift card by itself. And this was the box and it was so fancy. And y'all, all that was in here, it's clearly it's not in here anymore, but all that was in here was just the envoy and the gift card and it told me when I could use it and I was just like y'all could just put that in one box like, literally my second time doing this video if you watch my Maybelline review of that skin tint I did try to do the video at that time and I just did not like how my face was looking like that foundation so yeah so this is not my first time seen any of this so this is not a proper unboxing but i just want to show you guys what it came in because sax has steps up step up their game so this was the box um my information is in the front so yeah i can't really show that i've ordered from sax it usually just usually usually come in this huge box and the bag is just floating everywhere so they've changed that With like sax neiman's um usually when you order from them you don't get the actual box like the actual brand box so I like that day um, well this is the first item I've ordered that came in this box so I'm assuming that's what they're doing going forward this is the box that the bag was in and like I mentioned I already seen the bag and everything these little foam thing were around the um, strap of the bag and I'm gonna show you guys the bag so this is the bag right here I already put her, you know, by my Givenchy bags. Oh, let me do a thumbnail. Okay, guys, so this is the bag, the dust bag. And then um, this is the bag right here. Um, I did take it out, like take this out, but I put it back. I haven't used her yet. I've tried to use her, but like, we'll get into that. So, um... I bought this bag before the price increase because when I went back on the Saks Fifth Avenue website just to see how much the gift card was going to be, the price changed. And I was like, I didn't pay that. Um, so I believe they had an increase. So if you are interested in this bag, the price did go up. But you guys, I freaking love this bag. This is how it looks right here. I do want to show it to you guys for anyone that is interested in her. The first time I got this bag, you guys, like I mentioned, the little white strips I showed you guys, they were wrapped around the chain right here. Perfect packaging. I was so happy and pleased with Saks Fifth Avenue that this was not a return or anything like that. Um, let me show you guys the inside. So it opens up 
it's kind of like hard to open up but it opened up like this and i put everything back in it so it came with this little thing and it does have the little blue thing on the snap closure my toy lulu still have hers i didn't take it off and i've had my toy lulu i think like two years now i'm not gonna take this one off either it just it doesn't really matter to me um this is the inside so as you can see it has stuffed in papers which i still have the ones from my toy lulu as well okay so as you can see i took the um stuffing papers out she is a beautiful um it has the saint laurent logo right here and then the um these little gravel things i think that's what they're called you guys might not be able to see it but all four of them are engraved with saint laurent um this is also engraved with saint laurent um the top these four as well are also engraved with Saint Laurent. And then the strap, as you can see, it says Saint Laurent. Both of them says Saint Laurent. I love this bag. My um, Toy Lulu is, um, the strap is um, leather, so she doesn't have this. But I love her. Clearly, I bought the mom. <laughs> but yeah, or the older sister because they do have a large. Um, so yeah, so like I was saying, I don't really like this. I really don't like it in my Toy Lulu because she's such a small bag. But with this one, because this one is bigger, I don't really like it, but you know, it's okay, it's bearable. Side of it is where they have the um, care card. I think this is also like the authenticity. The inside pocket is really deep. It literally goes like, like, back here which i like and it also has a you got you guys probably can't see it but it has a back pocket right here and in the saint laurent tag i am in love with this bag um when i first started to like you know get into more better quality items so that i don't have to have a hundred freaking bags that i have to keep buying over and over and over again um you know when youtube literally introduced me to <laughs> this world um this bag was one of the first bag i've seen of course you know i was already aware of louis vuitton i was already or i was already aware of gucci but when i saw this bag i fell in love with it i was like oh my gosh i'm gonna own this bag i didn't know when but i just said i'm gonna own this bag and then funny thing is that same year i was at a gas station and I saw this girl she was like going inside of the gas station and she had this exact bag I'm not sure if it was the small or the medium but she had this bag and that was my first time seeing it in person and I fell in love with it and I, it just confirmed to me that I will you know one day own it did not know when and I think that was like two years ago and now she is mine she is beautiful this is the medium Saint Laurent um, Lulu I wanted like a everyday somewhat everyday type of bag and i felt like the small was not doing it for me um because i wear my mcm bag she's right here in her dust bag i wear her like a lot like when i'm running errands if i'm going somewhere like you know out somewhere if i'm hanging out with some friends i'm sleeping over whatever she's my listen that bag that was the first bag i've ever well not the first bag i've ever bought but first bag that i spent like like a lot of money on one thing and i mentioned that in all my videos because when i spent that and it was like six something but still that was a lot for me on one thing and i was like oh my gosh i can't believe i'm doing that but i love that bag and that bag like i've the cost per wear listen i wear that bag so many times i have to like literally tell myself girl wear something else <laughs> so i wanted to like get something else that's like more casual somewhat everyday because even my other bags that are not contemporary and not luxury are small like i have a lot of other bags here that are not um not a lot because i don't have a lot of a lot a lot of bags but the bags that I, that I actually that are actually great quality even though they're not luxury or contemporary they're small you know i like small bags and sometimes when i'm out and i'm doing things i'm like dang like I need another bag. I can't keep wearing my MCM bag. And then my other bags, like I mentioned, they're small. So that's why I felt as if this side, this size was the perfect size for me. The small to me was like, yes, she was cute, but I felt as if like for what I wanted to use her for, um, like I mentioned, uh, 
somewhat casual everyday type of bag like i'm not saying i'm gonna wear this every single day but now i have another option of a bigger size bag besides my mcm tote because all my other ones are really small so i felt like the small lulu wasn't gonna cut it she's beautiful not you know if money was not an option and i had it like that um i would add her to my collection um but you know i'm glad that i have her now i'm happy with my toy back here and i'm happy with her um so yeah so i really hope you guys like this video i freaking love this bag um saint laurent is one of my favorite designers so yeah so that's all i have um that's all i have for today you guys the gift card that i got from Saks fifth avenue i did use it to buy another bag which you guys are gonna see that video next but yeah so thank you so much you guys for watching another one and again happy new years i hope we all have a very safe healthy new year so i will see you guys in the next one bye